Uh, Prime Minister, you said that a number of the allegations that are made about Dominic Cummings were false. You were with him for six hours. Did you see the evidence to prove that? Um, Meg, I, I, you know, I don't want to, to yes go Yes or into, no, Prime Minister, it's a simple I question. Yes, yes or did you to, see the evidence? I don't want to go into uh, much more than I've said. It's a simple said question. Did you see the evidence? If, I will, if it pleases you, I will say yes, I did. But I don't want to, I don't want okay, to. Okay, well, if you that's fine, I promise you saw the evidence. Would you agree that it would be a good idea for the Cabinet Secretary to see that or for it to be published? And then this problem might be off your table. Well, uh, I think actually that uh, it would not be doing my job if I were now to shuffle this uh, problem uh, into the hands of officials who, believe me, Meg, are, as I think the public would want, working flat out uh, to deal with uh, coronavirus. But let me ask you about your instructions now to parents who either have COVID or have the symptoms of COVID, who won't know how seriously they're going to get it and who have no local childcare available. Is the message to those parents now, the one from Jenny Harris to stay at home unless there's a risk to life, but if you do get ill, contact the community hubs? Or is it the message from the transport secretary and the community secretary to be able to travel to wherever you have a support network? In the words of Robert Jenrick this morning, if you don't have ready access to childcare, then you can do as Dominic Cummings did. Which is it? Well, I'm, I'm not certain, uh, Yvette, that there's as much of a, a discrepancy between those uh, two bits of advice as you as you suggest. And I think what Jenny uh, was trying to say was that uh, if you've got exceptional difficulties with, with childcare, then uh, you should take account of them. Okay, but these, we're not talking about exceptional difficulties with childcare. We're talking about the very normal difficulties with childcare. So if you are trying to tackle local outbreaks and prevent them spreading, you need to be giving clear advice to parents. Yeah. And what is it? Because it is not clear to me from listening to Jenny Harris and to Robert Jenrick what that advice to parents well, who are in Dominic I'm Cummings' sure. situation. Oh, uh, the clear advice is to uh, to stay at home unless you absolutely have to go to work to do your job. If you have exceptional problems uh, with childcare, then that may cause you to to vary uh, your arrangements, and that's uh, that's clear. The fundamental advice remains absolutely uh, unchanged, which is. Uh, wash your hands, observe social distancing, and uh, self-isolate if you have right symptoms, now. and get a test. I'm asking specifically about your advice to parents who have COVID. Advice to I, parents you are not giving. The reason that you are not giving, the reason you are ducking it, the reason you're trying to... I'm, not, ducking. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm not ducking Actually, I've just given... I've just, I've just said that I agree. I don't think that, I don't think that you're... I, I don't think that you're actually travel across the country, even though it may mean them having to go into a hospital somewhere else where they may seed further infections. Do you want them to do that or do you want them to stay put when they don't have local childcare like around a quarter of parents? Uh, Yvette, I think you'd have to look at each individual case and there were particular circumstances that uh, my advisor explained. Uh, I think what Jenny Harris was trying to say was that where there are exceptional difficulties, then people needed to, to take account of them. And, and uh, other than that, I, I don't really know what I can add. So can you tell us you have a choice between protecting Dominic Cummings and putting the national interest first? Which will it be, Prime Minister? Well, I think uh, my choice is uh, the choice that the British people uh, will want us all to make, Yvette. And that is, uh, as far as we possibly can, uh, to lay aside a party political point scoring and to put the national interest first and to be very clear with the British public about what we want to do and how we want to take this country forward. And